Hey guys, I want to make another video about um, the uh, work we're doing with the Google Drawings. And, uh, and you saw the video that was uh, showing you how to insert a Google Drawing into a Google Document, which is a really great direct insert uh, feature. Unfortunately, that does not exist in Google Slides. So we have a couple different workarounds that we can use. The first one is to just simply um, copy all of the um, visuals on your Google Drawing. You can either just draw a selection box over everything, or if you hit Control plus the A button on the keyboard, it'll select everything. And just do Control C for copy, or just simply copy it by right-clicking. And I've got a sort of a sample Google slideshow here, and I can just paste it in here. Um, so when I click off of it, though, notice that everything is still editable and movable, which may be a good desirable thing for you. However, it does make it easy to mess things up. For example, you notice that uh, it came in pretty much taking up the entire screen. So if I wanted to shrink it, and I drag the corners, notice that the player icons do not shrink. So this may not be the best option, but it could be if you just want to leave it as a full screen resolution. A, another option, which is what I would probably um, recommend, is if you just simply go to the file menu in your Google Drawing and download it as a PNG image. I like PNG because it allows for transparency in the background as well as it uh, resizes very nicely. So I'll just select that option, it'll download, and when it's downloading I'm going to click this box, which you can't see, um, it's off the screen, but when I click that there's an option to show it in the folder, and here is the folder, this is my sample field, because it's the title that I used here. So when I go to, uh, back to my baseball, let me add another new slide, I'm going to get rid of all this, so we have just a blank slide, but back here I can simply drag this onto uh, the field and notice I can resize it very nicely and everything stays proportional as you move it around. Also if you notice I kind of did that little click and drag. If you're on a Chromebook that's not quite as easy to do, so you would just simply want to go to the insert image button and you would choose upload from computer and uh, let's see so I go to downloads and then I come down and I find it here's the sample field I open it that way and again because it's PNG it'll resize very nicely and it doesn't get all pixelated and it looks really good the third way which is probably a little less common but uh, very doable is to uh, publish this to the web the advantage of doing that is that you can use that link uh, to put it into any kind of a document so that people can access it later. Um, so in order to do that, what you want to do is come down here on the file menu and choose publish to the web. Uh, you want to come up with some kind of a, we're going to use the link. Uh, you can choose what size. I'm going to go with the default medium and I just hit publish. And I'll say yes, I'll publish that. And then I'll just simply control C or copy this. And I'll go back to my Google slide. So let me insert another slide. Insert new slide. Again, I'll get rid of all that stuff. Okay, so now the third option is to insert an image by the URL. And I just paste that image link that we just had. And it gives you a preview. And then when you, if you like it, and it's the one you want, you just hit insert. Um, again, it also allows you to uh, resize it. Uh, and it looks good. So those are three different ways to do it. Uh, again, my personal preference is to just do a quick download and then uh, just simply drag it from your computer if you're working on your laptop uh, onto the um, slide. But if you're working on a Chromebook, um, you can just simply choose insert image and then upload from the computer. I'm on my PC desktop, so uh, you'll have to use the file finder in uh, Chromebook to do that. So if you have any questions, just let me know, and uh, I'll see you soon.